first objective hours before. While dawn broke like a face with blinking eyes. Pallid, unshaved and thirsty, blind with smoke. Things seemed alright at first. We held their line with bombers posted, Lewis guns well placed, and clink of shovels deepening the shallow trench. The place was rotten with dead, green clumsy legs, high booted sprawled and groveled along the saps, and trunks, face downward in the sucking mud, wallowed like trodden sandbags loosely filled, and naked sodden buttocks, mats of hair bulged, Clotted heads slept in the plastering slime. And then the rain began. <laughs> yeah. The jolly old rain. A yawning soldier knelt against the bank, staring across the morning clear with fog. He wondered when the Alamans would get busy. And then, of course, they started with five nines, traversing, sure as fate, and never done. Mute in the clamor of shells, he watched them burst, spouting dark earth and wire with gusts from hell, while posturing giants dissolved in drifts of smoke. He crouched and flinched, dizzy with galloping fear, sick for escape, loathing the strangled horror and butchered frantic gestures of the dead. An officer came blundering down the trench, Stand to and man the fire step! On he went, gasping and bawling. Fire step! Counter attack! Then the haze lifted, bombing on the right down the old sap, machine guns on the left, and stumbling figures looming out in front. Oh Christ! They're coming at us! Bullets spat, and he remembered his rifle, rapid fire, and started blazing wildly, then it banged! and spun him sideways, knocked him out to grunt and wriggle, then heated him, choked, and fought the flapping veils of smothering gloom, lost in a blurred confusion of yells and groans. Down, and down, and down. He sank and drowned. Bleeding to death. The counterattack had failed. <laughs>